Isn't it a little early for you? Beautiful 58 degrees, 6.30 a.m. Today, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta ask Ron about this one. Ron, simply put, I'm nervous. What, what are we doing? Why are we? Uh, it's just an exercise in pushing the mileage up a little bit. You know, two weeks ago, we did two centuries back to back with 10,000 feet of climbing. Seems like a good place to kind of push the mileage up, maybe do 150 miler with 12,000 feet. Biggest miles I've never done. <laughs> We're just taking the spring water out to Troutdale, out to Bridge of the Gods, Cascade Locks, Carson, up into the Gifford, backwoods for pizza, right home. Oh, well, when you say it like that, yeah, see? It makes it easy. So for this ride, I decided to do the Stinner Titanium Madness with 40C high pressure tires. Cause so I figured this is a lot of miles with a schmear of gravel. Schmear, yeah, good, like an inch schmear. What are you running, Ron? Uh, steel, carbon fork, 650B, 47C, smooth, switchback hills. Hey, is, is, uh, is Carson this way or that way? Right. Go. party to a dog wedding at Multnomah Falls. Only a hundred more miles to go. How many of these have you done today? Store bought, I'd say this is the fourth at home before the ride, probably four as well, maybe five. I guess those 12,000 feet aren't gonna climb themselves. There's something about when you know the size of what the ride is going to be, it really makes the experience of the ride much easier. If you know you're in for 150 miles, daunting as it may be, it's still easier while you're doing the ride to get to that point. You're like, oh, I'm only halfway, it's 60 miles, 5,000 feet right now, almost halfway, okay, just keep doing it, keep doing it. But if you're doing a 60 mile ride, that's 6,000 feet, you're like, oh my God, this is almost done. I'm dying, I can't wait for this to be over. I can't imagine if this was gonna be any bigger. It's really funny how if your mind knows when the end is, no matter how big the ride is, the end is always hard. That's a sweet potato.
Oh, it's Tom, obviously. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And we both assumed our roles as the optimistic one and the pessimistic one. Ron, this climb's gonna kill us. No way. You gotta get home. You gotta do it, right? Like you could either not do it or do it. Oh, that's a good point. We could not do it. Yeah, but then you'd be stuck in there. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Nine o'clock road sodas. I should have brought lights. All right, Flair, good luck with the rest of your trip. Oh my God, let's do it. <sighs> this is all Ron's fault. Holy hell, that was a big day. This was single-handedly the biggest mileage, elevation, and time day that I've ever done. Lots of road, lots of gravel, lots more road. <clears throat> I'm so fried. It's 11.45. Remember what time this started? 6.30 a.m. I'm so stoked to just clean up, eat food, drink water, not move, you get the point. And the ride by the numbers. Holy crap, get ready for this. 151 miles, 10 hours, 57 minutes, and 12,601 feet of elevation. Thank you, Wahoo Rome, for making this happen. Oh my god, I'm so fried. So fried today. It's not often the case that the day after the ride, I feel so wrung out. But I guess the day after the biggest ride of my life, that's to be expected. I've been embarrassingly grumpy all day today. Totally depleted. I have what's commonly known as the Higley effect. Named after the legendary Doug Higley, Bicycle over-preparer, adventure extraordinaire, potential PhD. So what's the cure for the Higley effect? Time, nutrition, hydration, and ideally somewhat of a recovery ride. I wasn't able to do one today. I didn't even want to look at that thing today. 
I walked past it, but I just ignored it. I was like, not today. I make these videos with a labor of love and the simplest way to support the channel is to click this round button right here. Links to anything you might be curious of are down below. Music, gear, links. There's more videos right here. And over here is some graphic goodness that I've made just for you. Cause I figured sharing is caring.